day Israel. Today's video is designed to be another stitch to keep your minds right in regard to how far down the rabbit hole we are currently located. Question. Remember our Black Lives Matter understanding? You remember when we found out they were not a homegrown organization whatsoever, but instead it appeared to be an opposition control slash radicalizing organization. And I told you then, due to the strength of Queen Bee's witchcraft and sorceries, you know, the ones the scriptures tells us she's so proud of, well, it appears the evildoers had no idea their potion of passiveness would work so well. Thus, the unexpected and complete domestication of the cullets we see before our eyes today. And I remember I told you then, watch out, because our perfidious must now manufacture the necessary emotions needed to trip their trip wide. Another question if I may, remember our scripture discovery when my God said that he must shorten the days or there wouldn't be any flesh left? And we deduce through various scriptures, world history, and the need for archaeologists to conclude wisdom, the wisdom and understanding being bestowed was that the evildoers have been collecting DNA from antiquity and slowly, ever so slowly, cloning and replacing the original seed of the specific Adam and Eve with their weak, disease prone and spiritless carcasses. Why? So the Raphaim etc. spirits from the days of Noah, residing in the rivers of evil and elsewhere, may rise and descend to take possession of their old stomping grounds again. You know, just like the scriptures attest. Another question. Remember our Mexican world history discovery? You remember when we read they admitted they came from holes and caves from out of the earth in the South American region and was told by their God to walk until they saw an eagle sitting on a cactus? Right. Speaking of Mexicans, remember our South American caravan theory? You remember? When we deduce there was no way in Hades that many people could travel so light and child heavy for that distance and look so fresh for the cameras. And I told you then they were new and fresh program clones being released to be processed and sent to the locations of those who bought them. You know just like the Israeli operation in the Pale Settlements, just like they are doing all over the world via refugee camps that never close, and just like this from NBC News under, Trump administration planning to fly immigrants to U.S. cities away from the border. May 17, 2019. Quote, the Trump administration is laying the groundwork on a plan to fly recent border crossers to cities around the U.S. and release them after processing. This proves this administration will adhere to the NAFTA Treaty for Labor just like their Edomite slash Israeli masters required them to do. I mean... Am I the only person who finds it interesting? The same poor, decrepit Mexicans we see jumping the border can immediately jump into a skilled labor position, meaning the financial indicator that a skilled population is supposed to be the number one component to a successful nation is South American bullocks. But I beseech thee, I beseech thee to endure one last question. 
Remember we just discovered whether just a fear or fist of fury breadcrumbs a terroristic plan to use disgruntled so-called African Americans who will travel to Africa for wicked training to return to America with the sole purpose of building a wall that only needs to be glazed? I can't hear your answers because this is a video. But if you remember those discoveries, check this out. According to the BBC News under dramatic rise in African migrants arriving at U.S. border. Subtitle, U.S. Border Patrol agents in Texas have detained hundreds of people from African countries over the past week. June 6, 2019. Stop. Bingo. I mean, if you look at a world map, flat earth or round earth, you will quickly come to the conclusion. There is no explanation you can give a sane man that will explain the logistics of Africans somehow, some way, and out of the blue. Explain how Africans from Africa are on the South American border and they not be replacement clones for you and I. But let's read the story for more clues, shall we? Letting the beat rock. Quote, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol says the, personal quote, dramatic rise in migrants from African countries with an S arriving in the area is a, personal quote, humanitarian crisis. More than 500 of African migrants have arrived at Del Rio Border Patrol sector in the past week since May 30th. Most of these people are families. Let me say it again. Most of these people are families that have traveled from Angola, Cameroon, and the Republic of Congo, BCBP said. Last week, on May 30, a large group of 116 people who had all originally traveled from African countries arrived at the southern border. In a statement, Del Rio Sector Chief Patrol Agent Raul L. Ortiz said that language barriers and cultural differences were also placing additional burdens on, personal quote, border patrol processing stations. Many of the migrants have also traveled on to San Antonio in Texas, some 240 kilometers, that's 150 ugly American miles, from Del Rio. Listen closely. A spokeswoman for San Antonio City Government told BBC News that they were, personal quote, operating a resource center for those traveling and have, personal quote, partnered with, partnered up with local charities to provide people with necessities such as food and shelter. Local news reporter Jalise, something with an I, also tweeted that the city was, personal quote, in desperate need for French speaking volunteers and that local centers expected up to 300 more migrants to arrive in the next few days. Stop! Bingo! How in Valhalla can you unexpectedly expect 300 more migrants that you say you don't know where they came from in the first place? Processing stations set up already, huh? Charities that will provide food and shelter, huh? I don't know about you, but it appears I have heard this story live before. Let's continue for more clues, shall we? Under, how are they traveling to the U.S.? Yeah, I want to know this. I want to know. Listen closely. Quote, it is not clear exactly what route they are taking. 
even though they're sitting right there and you can talk to them. Hmm. However, in a recent interview with NPR, some African, some African, some African migrants described traveling from their home countries to Brazil before making their way north through Colombia and Central America towards the U.S.-Mexican border. Such a journey typically takes several months. Example, bullocks, bingo. Notice, they never told us how in Hades they crossed the ocean to get to Brazil. You know, the country whose national pastime is kidnapping. Besides, there is no way in Tartarus drug cartels, corrupt governments, etc. are going to allow bands of intact African families to travel through multiple countries. Several months journeys without maximum abuses. What did they eat for several months, people? How did they sleep for several months? What about the hygiene products for several months? The baby food, the clothes, etc. For several months? <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. But I regress, I regress. No, I don't. On another note, but within the same song, check this 